So this week, we finally finished up the barnyard. We got all the gates hung. We got all the finished, the fencing finished. It's finally ready for livestock. But it did not go well at all. It seemed like every time we tried to, to work on a section, something went wrong. Even though even we thought it might be simple, it ended up being a pain. So it just ended up taking us three days total to be able to wrap up this barnyard way longer than I thought it was gonna take. So the first day we started off with this 10 foot tube gate. We bought this, this gate to be the front entrance because this is right next to the driveway. So this will be the main access into the barnyard. And uh, we bought this two-way latch here. It's kind of like a two-way automatic latch, specifically designed for these tube gates. It'll allow the gate to be able to swing inward or outward. And uh, so we bought that latch, and when we went to put it on, it just did not want to mount to this tube gate for some reason. It just didn't go very well. So after messing with the front gate, 
we ended up uh, coming down here to fence in this corner and to hang this gate over here and we ended up using woven wire in this corner and it seemed like to hang wire in this little eight feet of wire here took just as long as it takes to probably pull 80 feet of wire and hang it it was just super time consuming to try to get this little bit of fence on there and actually try to have it on there tight i'm sure if i just wanted to staple it on there and put it on there loose i could have had it done really quick but to try to make this on there and actually semi-tight with barbed wire along the bottom that was super time consuming So we did install our latches on our gates and all we ended up using, I, I thought about this and thought about this and overthought it. And finally I decided to just kind of keep it simple. We just ended up using like a hook as the, the gate latch. This is basically like a staple that staples that into the fence. And then there's another staple over here um, that the hook goes into. And uh, hopefully that'll work out for us. If for some reason the animals can lift lift those up and you know they're just going to be able to get to the pasture so it's not the end of the world but uh if animals can start opening those up then we'll go back and come up with a different latch system so the next thing we tried to work on was the fencing from the front gate over to the barn and we actually started off with field fencing and you can see our piece of field fencing is still laying here it's got our board clamped in it for stretching it and we tried to cheat the system to try to save time and it ended up uh, costing us time i'll show you what i did and what didn't work so when i was putting in this section of fence i ended up uh, trying to take a shortcut i actually first tried to put this together with field fencing so I actually put field fencing on here and I wrapped it around the post and I stapled it all the way down the post. And I thought that I'm just going to just staple this up here and it'll be good enough. So what I didn't do is I didn't wrap it around and tie it back to itself to make like a slip knot. I didn't staple it on the other side either. Um, so when I pulled on it to try to tighten the fence up, it made my post roll. It made it like want to unwind and uh, of course that makes my brace want to pop out um, it ends up being bad so um, basically uh, i ended up abandoning that i cut all the field fencing back off and then i finally broke down and went with a goat and sheep panel these panels are expensive i already had the wire so i was hoping to use the wire i didn't want to have to buy another panel to be able to finish this front out um, but I guess the moral of the story is I shouldn't have tried to take a shortcut over there or tried to do something that I'd never done before and uh, it ended up biting me in the butt. And uh, if I would have just put a goat and sheep panel on there, I would have saved myself probably at least a couple hours worth of frustration and uh, it would have been done. So let me tell you everything I actually screwed up on while just hanging this small section of fence. First of all, I put the barbed wire on the bottom. I put it on the outside of the fence. And I'm like, crap. Um, I wanted the fencing on the inside. So it's on the side the animals are on. So I had to cut my barbed wire off, put it back on there again, get it on the correct side, on the inside of the barn. Then I went to hang the field fencing. I ended up putting the fencing on the outside. Well, then I was frustrated because my field fencing was already stapled to my post. It was on the outside instead of the inside finally i said fine that's fine i'll leave it on the outside i tried to tighten it up then it started to do the post unwind um and it just wasn't working out i got really frustrated i finally said forget it i cut the field fencing off and then i ended up going with the stock panel instead it just didn't nothing went right and a lot of it was my fault i was trying to take shortcuts i wasn't paying i was trying to move fast and wasn't paying attention to what i was doing and it had just it just killed me it took way longer than it should have is very frustrating but in the end i think what i have decided is if it is probably 16 feet or less for sure of fencing it takes so much time to to properly stretch a field fence and to tie every individual strand that is super time consuming that uh it is way easier to throw a stock panel up there i know they're expensive but i can throw one of these goat and sheep panels up there and uh, be done in the matter of minutes rather than fighting a field fence and trying to stretch it 
uh, and I could spend an hour or two doing that for 20 feet. So in the end, on these short sections of fence, I'm just going with the goat and sheep panel from now on and just be done. So our final location to wrap up the barnyard was on the far side. So we had to hang this fence gate here. This is another gate that I made. And then we needed to put in a post on this side of the gate and then fence to the barn. Of course, I was, thought this was going to be pretty quick and simple, and it wasn't. So to drill uh, the post on this side, I thought I'd use the tractor. Okay, And to get the tractor around here, there was a tree right in the way. So the first thing I had to do is I needed to cut down that tree. So after we cut down the tree and got it cleaned up, brought the tractor around, I just needed to bring it through the barnyard and around the corner so that I could drill a post hole. But when I brought it through here and tried to get around the corner, I got the tractor stuck. So the tractor would spin out, I could not get around the corner, and my front tires ended up digging in. It's not a four-wheel drive tractor, they are terrible in the mud. And I ended up, made huge holes here in the ground where the front tires were. Luckily, the bucket on the tractor, I was able to lift the front end up and put concrete blocks and fill those ruts in and able to get the tractor out. But during the whole process, I actually almost got the bucket into the fence a couple times and almost tore up my brand new fence that I put in with this tractor being stuck. So after we got the tractor unstuck finally and we got it out of here, uh, we ended up using the two-man post hole digger, the, the auger, and drilled that post hole with that. So my wife's back. It's been hurting this week. She's been to the chiropractor. I did not want to use that uh, two-man auger. Um, so I started to, was going to do it with just a manual post hole digger, but she insisted we go ahead and give it a shot. And luckily, uh, when we used that two-man auger, it actually... <laughs> It drilled that hole smoothly. We didn't hit a root. We didn't hit a rock. It was probably one of the smoothest holes that we had actually dug with that two-man auger. So luckily, at least that went well, so we could finally get this post installed.
Well, this just proves that nothing goes as it's planned. I had these great big plans on getting this all done and nothing went like I planned it at all. Um, every time things got a little frustrating, we we're trying to figure things out, we probably ended up turning the camera off. So we may not got a lot of footage of everything, but it, it just didn't go well. But it's done. I'm glad it's done. It's been a long process trying to get all this fencing and try to get this barnyard all tidied up. So now that this is all secure in here, my wife can finally go out. She can get those Nigerian dwarf goats that she's been wanting to get. And uh, she, they'll have a place to be able to stay and be safe. So now the barnyard is complete. The goat stall is made. Um, this barn is starting to come along. Still don't look very good, but it's coming along. So we got a lot more to do. We still need to uh, make a chicken coop out here, get our chickens moved out here. We still got water, electricity. We've got a ton of things to do. We need to get this thing looking a little bit better. It'd be nice to be able to get some paint on it. So there's a lot more to do on that barn. So I can't wait for warmer weather. It'll make it a lot more pleasant to work on this barn. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next video.